no reason no reason to get out of your pajamas you can do your class in pajamas <laughs> all right so um so today bettina asked a great question um in last class and i'll remind you for those of you so as you're setting up for ink and maybe doing some testing um I, she said what makes a good subject so I'm going to present some subjects to you and we are going to decide which one we want to paint and draw or draw together in the demo. And then if you want to, you can do a second one, right? Once we go through. So um, let's start with the three that I put. Let's start with the three that I put on the chat. So we have this guy. Sandra, I'm in agreement with you on this one. It could be done, but it's complex, complicated. We it's gorgeous have, but so hard here yeah. it's too hard but why i want you to i want us to put words on what it is because uh, of the overlap, overlapping wings because of all the feathers in the wings because of the tails uh because because of the angle where the picture is taken where one wing is in front of the face who's in front of the, the other wing it's just many different bits well, there's a so, lot of detail, but remember, we don't always do, have to do all the detail. I think the biggest problem here is there's not enough light areas. Can you see this? Too much medium. There's too yeah. much medium. And there, if this was taken from a different angle and there was more light maybe coming in here, this could be a pretty dramatic picture. But you're stuck with the reason Santa's talking about all the details is that Remember, when we mostly paint, we work the area where light meets dark, and there's too much medium detail in here for that to really be effective, particularly in charcoal and ink. So there's not enough contrast, really, in this particular shot. Um, and I'm going to introduce this one in which I pulled out because it's adorable. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> So oh, cute, but similar problem. This seems even harder, right? So, yeah. Tina, this reminds me of your tree trunk. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. It's not that it's not stinking adorable. And here, let me show you it. In I mean, I got these all in color here. It's even better in color. I mean, it's absolutely adorable. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, but. Um, you get stuck with doing lots of detail. I mean, we have this transition. And we have, there's more detail on the trunk than there is on the birds. Yeah, and it's competing. Like, it's actually... Now, remember, Unsplash is not professional artists, right? Photographers, mostly. So we do find some good stuff, but we also... this All these textures are like... Nothing's jumping forward right yeah so and it's cute like don't get me wrong so cute right i love it i want to paint it um it's not like it couldn't be painted but at for a practice when you're at the beginning you want to find things we get more stuck in detail we don't have great light and dark contrast and um so let's take a look at these three which i think have better contrast so for one we have the dark now it is true, we've got some nice light and dark shapes here. I like so, that one. But what? then there's the water. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. But what's nice, Sandra, about the water is we have some nice light and dark shapes in the water too, which we can play with. So remember, we're really working texture. We don't have to draw every white dot in here. We're really working texture where light meets dark. You work, you add detail where a light area meets a dark. This isn't bad. This mm. is better because yeah. it's a very clear light and dark shapes. So we don't, but there's still a lot of detail in the feathers. But remember, we don't have to do, do all the detail. We're really working in areas like... right? That's a dark area. Here's a dark area. Here's a medium area. 
But look at this nice light, right? This is the most important edge we're thinking about. It's that big edge. Got it? So, yeah. um, however, I think the best one might be this little guy. Wow. Can you see the difference? So is this helpful in terms of like review? Yes. So as you're starting, so it's true. And Sandra's really right on this whole concept, particularly when we go back to this idea of detail. But remember, every creature, everything we paint has a lot of detail. Where we want to look when we're looking for art subjects are things where there are very strong light and dark patterns. So we can focus most of our detail there. And then we don't have to do so much detail everywhere else. Um, this, is a, this is a way of thinking about art called working the edges. And so we're working, there's several edges to work. And this little guy, there's less like sort of, there's some fantastic, oh, you can't really see this. Hold on, let me get this. There's some fantastically simple transitions, right? So there's a transition from here to here. There's this transition. There's this transition to here. See the difference? We're going from light to medium, and then medium to dark medium, and then tail that's dark. And we don't have to worry. So really our transition, what we're paying attention to are the transitions here. Does that make sense? We're really yeah. from here to here. But um, also the shape of the branch is sort of simple, elegant, and has contrast to the background. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of white for it, but but white is good. Or we could just don't do anything there, you mean? Right, white is good. You can so it's less work. Maybe why don't we pick like two <laughs> subjects? Quite good for the lazy artist, that. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the lazy artist. I think it's more like, um, well, so my suggestion is, but you guys tell me, we maybe try this one, which will be pretty quick. And then we try, I don't know, maybe that one? No. Or maybe do it to reverse? No. We're going to start with the simpler. We're going to okay. start with the simpler. I want us to start with the simple because I remember there's some people who haven't done this very much. So hi, Osiris, nice to see you. Nice. Okay, I've got seen everybody. Hi, Julia. Um, so I think we should start, if we're gonna start, we should start with the simplest and then we'll move to a more complex one. Just because, and, or we could do the duck, I don't know. Or I can send them all across and you guys can pick one to try on your own. I want to do the simple one. <laughs> me too. Me too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's good to start with the simple and then go to the comp more complex. Um, here, hold on. Now, of course, I've got to move this. Ah, I tell you. I mean, I'm still working on not having a grid, you know? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's this class has many levels in it, right? We've got some people who have been doing this a while, who've been doing art a while, who've been drawing longer, who have been. And so the challenge is always to kind of start. And I think I'll just block off my drawing here so everybody can see it. I think that works well you have a choice because I always tend to botch up my first one anyway. Right? So that's why. Why. Let's, and since we know ink goes fast, let's like start with this one. In fact, this was supposed to be Wednesday's watercolor session, but not enough people really showed up, so I didn't teach it. I'll probably still teach it as a watercolor um, because it works. Oh, look at your kitty, Jackie, uh. with his one little white, little dark spot. And he's also got a tiger tail. <laughs> he's got a oh my god! Look at he's that. got a what tail? A he's tiger a stripe star, tail. Stripey tail. Where what? is he? Where is he? I don't want the camera. He's in the thread. Maybe his tail oh, is I kind love, of under I, the I chair. I love black and white cats like that. He's in the thread. Take a look. He at. He looks the like he's wearing a beret. 
Thanks. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to, right. I, I used to keep people, Bettina, in the uh, grid stage longer. I've since decided that's not really helpful to you. So I, you know, it's good to learn how to, so I know it's harder, but I do promise like you will go faster if we do it this way, but I totally get it. I'm like, the grid is like this nice little crutch, um, but it's kind of got limited use. Sometimes it works if every, everything has to be in exactly the right proportions and um, all of that. All right, let's see. I'm going to take a picture of this. Away. Oh, take a picture of this so you guys all have it. So there is our here is our our sketch this morning. And then we'll start with the bird and then add in the branches around it. So let's see here. So first of all, get kind of, and of course you can totally do this in pencil or chart, any, any material that you want. But the demo, because it's Inktober, our last Inktober, the demo will be done in ink. Um, I'm getting my, <clears throat> I am, I've got two little pitchers of water here. You can see I've dipped ink in one, so it's a little bit darker. And that is, and then I've got this ink. And then I've got this brush and this pen. So I'm gonna start by just dipping my brush in the ink, right, directly. But you can see that I've got a very dark line there. And if I come down here, you can see that I can't, oh, and let's not forget the most important thing are blankie, paper towel, right? You can see that I can't, even though it's wet, I can't really get rid of it if I just put straight ink on my canvas, however, or my, on my Bristol paper. However, if I dip my brush in water, here, if I dip my brush in water and then lay it out and put it on here, I can wipe it off much easier. So it's easier, we're gonna start all our drawings. If we dilute the ink with water, we can, um, we can erase it easier. So we always start our ink drawings with these simple subjects. I'm also always starting with the brush. And as usual, I'm kind of, I'm finding the, the vertical, I'm defining the vertical distance randomly. I'm just deciding how tall I want to make this bird. And in this case, I mean the vertical distance from here to here, right? How long is the bird from this little leg stepping down up to the top of his head or her head, who knows, right? And then from here, I can decide, and then I'm also going to mark the halfway point. Yep. Oh, I'm going to mark the halfway point just so I kind of know. And um, what I have done, unfortunately, is make something dark that's not really dark. So, you know, here, this is actually light. I'll put a little orange down here now. I'm just uh, here we go from yeah. here to here. And then if I use this, the halfway point. I can use this to kind of see how wide things are. And you can see at the widest place, the bird is like half the width, at half the height. So when I start to spread, um, there is some echo in there. Yeah, what's going on there? Yep. Oh, there we go. Hi, Olga. You're welcome to try the hawk if you want. We've all just discussed why it's way too hard. <laughs> you know yeah, I'm really sorry. I've been late today, but I'm happy to do this bird. So, yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. And we're going to probably do two. Good. Yes. So you can see that his head kind of comes above the halfway point. 
And I'm really starting with outside lines. So here's his little front of his body. If I want to, I can kind of, uh, I think I made his body too forward. I think his body's more back. So my birthday, sure or not, my last, this is halfway, so. I'm kind of marking the halfway point at the widest part of the bird so that I don't get too big. I can see this leg kind of comes past this back leg. Comes past the widest point. If I got that right. I may have put this out too far, but we'll see. I'm only doing the outside edges. So I'm not doing any of those inside lines. I think. Maybe this comes down a little bit. And obviously this line that I just painted in is way too thick for his legs. So I'm gonna let that dry and have that just be texture, right? For the background. And if you want, you can add in this little berry here because it kind of comes in under, under his chest. Or I don't know why I'm calling him him. Why am I calling him him? I don't know if that's him. I think very funny. There it is. It's real easy, particularly with the brush. And remember, we're trying to keep. Oh boy, I have this little dark spot in here. Let me scrub that out. We're trying to keep the light parts light, right? We try not to paint those. We might get a little texture in there. Happy Halloween, everybody. Mm. Oh, it's tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow, yeah. Yes. Um and then if you want to, you can also kind of add a little bit of the branch. I'd like kind of just do the outlines of the berries right now. Notice that although you can see each of these separate berries, some of them are touching, some of them are not. So draw them both touching and not touching, depending on what they're doing. If you remember the lily exercise, it helps to, oh, this is lovely. I can already, you can already tell this is gonna be kind of a nice piece. It's got- When you're gonna be able to sell the- uh... Right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, although I'm still completely in love with the mushroom painting we all did on Thursday. Yeah, it was cute. Oh was cute. my God, Is it, wasn't that cute? I couldn't even sell that. I had to give that away because it was so um, charming. Was it was. All our subjects have to be this charming. Um, so I don't know if you guys remember the Lily lesson, but with these berries, are they look like rose hips? I don't know what they are. I'm actually, look like it. if you remember, um, or maybe hawthorn, because these are small birds, it might be hawthorn berries. Um, I draw them first. You remember we did the stamen first, and then we draw the the lines connecting them to the brain. 
All right, I think we haven't done anything too damaging yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I feel about watercolor. Right? Well, and For the same reason. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right, I'm going slowly and carefully because I know this is going to make me go fast. Um. So let me take a picture of this and send it over and go ahead when you've got your, you feel like you've got your birdie kind of at this outside lines stage. <laughs> right, it's funny because even though all the beginning of the drawings looked awkward, isn't it fascinating how like some subjects just read right away? And the composition on this one is really good. There's like subject is kind of a little bit right of center. Um, um, there's this simple branches and things that just add small elements and then this kind of very light background. So, um, so Francesca, when we were talking about this idea of when you get to a point in your drawing where you're with ink, where you're like, I can't stop, right? I keep seeing ways to add things. The, the importance of that is that once you get the building blocks in place, the details will be easier, right? Rather than getting overwhelmed by the details on the first go. If you guys look at the painting that uh, uh, Diana is working on now, Diana, can you send a picture over just so people can see it? Oh. It's at its almost finished stage. Um, do you actually have a picture of the horse at the beginning? Uh, yeah, I do. Can you send that over too? Yeah. Um, she's going to send you where she is right now, but it could be overwhelming. All right, Julia, that looks pretty good. Yep. One, two, yep. Good job. That oh, I forgot good. to link. Um, Sandra, great. I love the way Sandra is kind of lightly super lightly oh nice Francesca ah, he's adorable even more loose go ahead and get his little tail feather in and everything out nice very <coughs> nice okay so yeah oh Jackie great all right you guys great 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 well done um so uh oh Bettina lovely yep yep these are all good so Olga very nice Good job, you guys. Really. I don't good. know if that was the very beginning. So, yeah, I want you to look at Diana's. I'm going to forward them so you can see them next to each other. So here is the Diana's painting, nearly finished, right? Here it is, nearly finished. Yep. Um, there's a lot of detail. She's getting into the bridal and stuff like that. But I want you to look That's at what beautiful. Look at how beautiful this looks. Look at how much this reads like a horse, even without those details, right? So it's it's not that, so if you do your drawing right, it will start to read, as we say, like whatever it is you're drawing fairly quickly with just the dark and light edges. In a weird way, you could have probably stopped here. I mean, you don't have to, but right? Like you could have stopped here. And then the details become easier because you already have your basic building blocks in place, right? Which read horse. So that's how I want you to think about all your drawings, the construction of your drawings. We start simple. So all things have complexity, right? All yeah. of them do. But like the question is, can I, and here I'm going to, and, and you know, I, I made the decision, the horse is not very detailed. The only thing that's really detailed is the eye and the bridle. Right, that's exactly right. Because, well, that's really where most of the detail is. Yeah, 
but they, the rest is super loose. Yes. So now you'll see I am. So that's the kind of decision making you're making as you're starting. But you can see from the very beginning that that painting was already working. It was working very early because it was not a focus on the detail. Let's see. Nice, Osiris. Very nice. Uh, good, pay, good paying attention to shapes. So you'll notice here, I, I filled in this because it just kind of naturally happened. <laughs> I'm going around the light shapes and kind of sketching in the darks, still with my very light ink brush. Nice mediums in here. Here's a dark. I'm kind of, in some cases, I'm coloring in the darks, but you don't have to. You can just outline them. There's definitely a break here between a kind of dark medium, a medium medium, and a light. There's dark here. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to send this over. Osiris, your drawing is getting really good. You're, it is? Thank you, yeah. teacher. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. I don't know. Seriously. Your eye is getting excellent. Um, to add to your already excellent composition skills, which you obviously have naturally, which show up in your abstract work, your drawing is better. Thank you. That's encouraging. Thank you. I feel delighted to see it. I have to say, I've been kind of watching all the students all week and just going, wow. I mean, yesterday we had this incredible class too, right, Sandra? Right, Dana? Yeah, it went to well. It was, we did a hand and people just dove in, which is like one of the hardest things to draw. And people just dove in and did it. And Sandra actually then did a raccoon paw. That's <laughs> <laughs> Next work human hand. It was great. It was like awesome. One of the students did a, a rendition in ink. It was amazing. Oh my God. Talk about hard. You want to see something impressive. Look at this. And it was a struggle that lesson, right? Like everybody was like really working hard. This one. Here's Sandra's. <laughs> Applying what she knows. And here is Linda's ink drawing of the hand. But this is after she did, it's so good. This is after she did a pencil drawing. So she did it. Oh, nice. It really turned out well. Oh. But what, of course, I should really do is send you the beginning drawings so that you can see how far people got in that lesson. Anyway, everybody's doing great. So. You're just waiting for us to catch up or? Or do you want me to keep going? I yes, please. Okay. Anybody, everybody ready for this to watch for a second and then you can keep going. Okay. So now we're going to get darker. We're going to build our darks up slowly. So I'm going to dip my brush in the ink, but instead of, I'm still not quite ready yet to lay down solid lines. So I'm going to dip my brush in the water once. Just, it's still pretty dark, maybe 12. Um, I'm testing. Yeah, I kind of wanted this kind of medium dark. And then I'm going to go in my darkest areas. Now we have a little trick here because there's an eye, which is mostly dark, but there's a little white spot. So I want you, whoosh, and this is still, I want you to, you know what, we need to go even lighter. 
So I'm dipping my brush in four or five times. So I'm doing my dark really light so that I can kind of work around. I want to preserve the eye a tiny bit, but it's just a little speck. What I mostly want to do is do a lighter dark, which I can darken around to allow the eye to pop, if that makes any sense. And I'm going to do a little bit of kind of texture there. That's pretty much it, though. Now, remember, if you're, um, uh, if you're uh, number one, I'm on an angle, so my thing is tending to drip. You can catch your drips like this. I'm trying to catch my drips. But also, so this is dark, but it's not as dark. And I did manage to maintain a little light there, which is kind of good. I'm going to do that with this bottom dark as well. Oh, and I was also going to say, if, you're, um, if your drawing is still wet, you're going to have weird little, you know, you might have some explosions, which might be happy accidents or might not be so great. Yeah. You can see that this is very quickly getting a little too heavy. So I'm taking my blankie kind of pulling back let's see there's a i'm skipping around doing all the darks but kind of a light dark it's not exactly erasing and then up here there's a nice little Inspect my brushes. Just trying to decide if I want to do any more detail. Uh, I might try. This is more of a pen. Really getting the details of the feet is and the outline is really a pen issue, not so much a. Are there any other darks? I think that's it. So there are the darks. And I'm gonna let those dry. Sorry, I'm gonna wait. Just, I'm just looking to see, are there any darks in my, uh, down here, there's kind of a darker, this. Just some of my berries. Over here. It's kind of fun to skip around and do all the darks because the darks kind of automatically, um, um, they conjure up the lights, right? Like they, they play against the shapes of the lights. So I always like to say, it's kind of like a two for one. You're doing one stroke, but you're, you're defining two areas, your lights and your darks at the same time. And uh, uh, I don't want to call it the lazy way of painting. What I want to say <laughs> is it's the quickest way to get to a painting that goes from awkward. We all know that drawings and paintings have to have an awkward stage. This is the quickest way of getting to the awkward stage um, without... Uh, uh, without like with and having it start to look like a beginning painting like the one Diana sent you and I just realized I'm going to go outside and check on my little guy I'll be right back
How are we doing? Anybody want to send it over? I can also, with a slightly lighter brush, a little bit more water, start to fill in my mediums as well. So each of the berries, the rose hips, the hawthorn berry, whatever they are, they have a kind of a light spot. So I'm trying to preserve that a little bit as I go in and fill out. Nice, Sandra. Yeah. Normally I'd say, oh, be careful about those darks, but I feel yes. like pretty confident about them. So I'm gonna just say, good job. I like yes, it. they're a bit, they're bit dark, but, uh, but they're still in the right place. So. Berries, I like how you've kind of preserved the light. See how I'm kind of preserving as I'm going in with the kind of medium of my, and we're gonna continue to emphasize the shapes of these things with our pens later. So that's going to happen kind of later in the process. So each of these berries has kind of an area that's light. There's this one. What kind of berries are those? I can see a lot of bird photos. I think they're hawthorn berries because they've got this little, uh, it's a They hawthorn. are hawthorn berries. Because they're like, because they've got this little, because Hawthorne is related to the apple family, you know, with this little thing at the bottom. Uh, one of the best medicinal herbs ever. I mean, so good for you. It's supposed to be great for heart issues. I use, I use it. I use it. That's why I know it's hard. They are hard. They're hilarious. Aren't they great? They really, no. and this guy's so little, he makes them look huge. <laughs> you have to use them for my eyes. Use Hawthorne. They're good for oh, the eyes. Oh, Osiris, nice, nice, good. They're good for your eyes. I like this kind of swirly mark making that's happening in the feathers to kind of convey feathers. That's a neat, kind of an original way to do it. Very nice. Uh, and Sandra, I like your kind of textured. I like the texture that you're adding in here. Very nice. It's just good. Simple, elegant, but there. Um, now I'm going in and kind of filling out the dark medium areas. I know there's little light feathery areas, so I'm kind of trying to paint this to allow a few light spots to come through. You'll notice these are now about the same value. Um, and what I'm gonna do is when these dry, I'm gonna darken these. So I'm going in getting my texture. Mm. Yep. Sunny, what are you up to? If I want to lighten even more, I can go in and do my, my one kind of light medium area, which is, I did use even more water. And I'm again, kind of trying to layer in a little bit of light, right? But most of the defining is really gonna come as we get into our pen work. But definitely I'm gonna make this darker. Yeah, and see, it's already looking kind of cute. Let's see, I'm sure you guys have all, oh yeah, very nice. Nice patina, nice. Nice, good, solid, steady approach. So I appreciate your hard work, you guys, because I know this is kind of nerve wracking, but um, um, 
you will see that your confidence is going to grow a lot more from really pulling these drawings together and ink drawing. I, I don't know. I just think ink is really great. And I don't know if you want to keep going with ink or not. We could. Yes. Does anybody else have thoughts on it? Me too. I'm yeah. fine. I, I'm interested. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one month is usually not enough. So maybe we'll just continue on with ink drawing and uh, into November. And then we'll decide what to do in December. We'll just, it's, I kind of like to make December a dealer's choice. Like whoever shows up to class mm -hmm. to help mm -hmm. formulate what we do. As long as like, I feel like with an ink drawing, somebody who's working in a different medium could totally do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, that would, I would easily do that in acrylic. Right, so we're just, I'm just trying to find demos that like, I want us to do different mediums. I think they're really neat. I got a little bit dark down here, darker than I wanted to, but I think that's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. And now I'm I'm waiting for it to dry, really. I might even take my blankie. Here's my blankie. Here's my blankie. Hey, buddy. Hermes is playing with catnip, crushed catnip. I'm kind of pulling off these little dots that are pulling at the bottom because I want it to dry faster so I can go in with her. Mm -hmm detail we're going to do one more pass with the brush and then we'll get into um and then we'll get into the the pen work <laughs> nice francesca nice sandra yeah 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 see you guys are already oh lovely jackie yep yep great and you're doing it you know what i really love none of these look the same but they're all, um, everybody's having their own kind of, well, Bettina, very nice. Great work, everybody. Really fun. Um, everybody's kind of doing their own thing. Okay, so now I feel like is the time to add in the stronger darks. Maybe go in, if you haven't already, with your stronger ink. Um, so I'm going in with straight ink now, straight dark ink. Woohoo! So brave. I'm going to start right. I'm going to start here. Mm -hmm. where, where, I'm not going up there yet. I'm going to start here where there's a nice texture difference and it's a little bit easier shape to get. And then down here, because I do want my darks to kind of show up nicely. And then so I'm not going to color this whole thing in dark because I can see it's really much smaller. I'm going to leave that there for now. I'm going to definitely make much of this bird's head darker. There's a lot you can do with the brush, but definitely do you have any thoughts, Leo, on uh, instead of using the bamboo brush or using a fountain pen? Um, I mean, I just think that, uh, okay, so this is just me. This is the mm -hmm. brush that I prefer. But here's my thought process. Um, we will use a fountain. I mean, the bamboo pen. Oh, you mean the bamboo as opposed yes, to- Yes, using a, a fountain pen instead of a bamboo pen. Oh, yeah, you could totally do that. Um, okay. What I like about the fountain pen is that uh, the bamboo pen is that you're once again kind of forced to keep dipping. So it's a slightly more organic, right? Like, whereas you can get very tight with the, uh, with the fountain pen, right? You've got more control there. So I'm always kind of a believer in let's like- <laughs> let's The control that appealed, I suppose. Right, let's like kind of, so I still have this little light area 
Uh, but now I feel once I get these darks in and I'm kind of getting the darks in in a, in a couple other places too. Down here, down here, up here. Um, I want to get in, I want to get into some bamboo pen action. Yeah, but you could totally use fountain pen. It's just, um, the bamboo pen has a slightly- like Itching a bit. forces you to simplify. Um, oh, look at that. Nice, Olga. All right, do it again. I love it. If you feel like you're done, or let's see what we can do, what happens when we add in some textured lines. So the first place I'm going to go, like, and I do want to be careful. I, I think the first place I'm going to go is down here, actually, because these are almost dry. So I'm doing almost like a kind of contour line. Around the edges. See how that helps define things. Once again, notice I'm tending to go to the simpler areas <laughs> before I get to the more complex ones. But really, I've been waiting here to define my birdie legs. Maybe a little branch underneath. Notice that the underneath of the branch is really dark. So I'm adding kind of a little bit there. So see how these lines can kind of help. And definitely up here in the beak. Oh, buddy, I'm gonna go back out again. Cold. Is it getting cold, Leah? Yeah, it's cold. It's like cold, but uh, sunny. Oh, I love that. Not you guys. Getting chilly. Getting chilly. Warm. It was sunny here until about ten minutes ago, and all of a sudden we have a influx of fog. Wow. Oh, wow. warm and so I don't know if it's the horror movie, The Mist, because it's Halloween weekend or <laughs> what's going on, but it looks oh, very strange. No, no, I mean, it literally no. just went from really, really bright sun to like this heavy shift of fog. Like, wow. So, by the way, before I get too far into this, notice where I'm starting to add a little bit of texture using my pen. And that's where kind of a light area meets a dark area. Can you see that? There's a little bit more texture. So either the background or down here, and I'm using my pen for that because I have more control over the pen. Hold on, buddy. So here, and I might, I may go darker in the middle, right? So that you can see less of it, but that's, oops. And then I splash them. On here, here, hold on. Blinky, where are you? Where are you, Blinky? Yep. Strong ink's just going to have to stay there. And now I'm coming down. I don't know if you guys can see this, but my brush marks really came down like kind of way too low. So I'm now using my pen to kind of pull up the edge a little bit. And even on this light side, I'm going to add it in. I might be done. I might be done. You're done. Congratulations. I can't believe wow. you pulled that off this week, Diana. Yeah. Ah. Well, it's gorgeous. It is. Congratulations. Thank you. Now spend a minute sitting before you jump into that cat. Spend a minute just appreciating what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I have to decide if I'm signing it to the right or to the left. 
but maybe in the background there it's yeah it's wonderful so look at how even on the light side here look at how much this line really helps define kind of an important line and i can even bring a few in here So you may choose to use your lines a little bit differently. Right? You may use less or more. You may put more texture in. I'm gonna go and get more coffee. Okay, yes, take just a minute. You really do need to take just a minute. <laughs> appreciate what you've done. Look at what these lines do with these mushy edges. I really like it. In weird ways, and see how this little extra bit down here just becomes texture. See how this part of the breast, which I started and then erased, See how it's like, um, I'm going to take a picture of this so you can really see it up close. I, I know Olga, it's amazing. She's been amazing us all morning. If you can look at this, look at how these initial lines, I look at how the initial lines I led just add this beautiful texture that it's almost like an aura. It's almost like a little reverber reverberation. I love that. Now, not everybody likes that, but I really love this feeling. And that's why ink is so great, right? Because ink really allows you that kind of vibration, that texture. I'm big on texture. So this is a very painterly way to approach a drawing. This is about as painterly as you're gonna get. And I wanna, I'll be the first to tell you that. My preference, it's how I do it, right? I'm a painter at heart. So even my drawings have paintings to them. And by the way, I'm not done yet, but I'm kind of waiting for these lines to dry so I can get in some darks in here. Do I need to do anything more, Leo? Or should I leave it alone? Um, I would like to see you add a transition from light, some from light medium to dark medium. Okay there in that belly very nice great preservation of the eye and i also would like to see a little bit more detail in the berries and the branches okay i was wondering whether that was going to detract from the main subject no i think you can do a little bit more not too much more right just like so look at some of the variations in the berries just to create a little like little light, lights a little bit of darks so that they don't all look the same you know what right. i'm saying? like same shape add a little bit of variation uh not too much Oh, getting high now off of the catnip, I'm afraid. It's amazing the effect it has on him. Mm -hmm. Although he still gets more excited about kale than catnip, but. Oh, really? That's amazing. It's the insane from the beginning. Don't walk on my pinch. All right, kale. Actually, any green vegetable. Yeah, I eat a lot of green vegetables. I often do stir fries, like, you know, with cabbage and kale and spinach and he comes right up and pulls the greens out of my bowl and eats them. Wow, that's fantastic. I think it's really good for them. Is it good for them? I figured it was. I figured well, yeah, I think it's good for them. All right. It, it may be because do you give him cut grass? Do you give him access to cut grass? He's got so much like he gets so much like vegetables. By the way, I'm coming in here. No, because that might be why he wants the vegetables because normally he would eat grass and he doesn't have any. Ah, okay, maybe I'll get him some. So, so no, what grass does, it purges them. Right. So usually they throw up after eating it, ah. but it's good for them. My, my guys graze every morning. Wow, but I'll get him some. I'll get him some, I think that'll Yeah, you can plant some. Tear up every single green thing in the house. And you know, if you put it in a pot, 
and it gets too tall, you can cut it with scissors. Right. And then it lasts longer that way. Very nice. Uh, by the way, here you guys, you'll see I'm adding in the sort of darker medium in this spotty way, which leads to a lighter medium and will eventually lead to this white. So I'm kind of, I'm adding in that darker medium to create that variation. And when this dries, I'll go in with the pen again. So you see how we're sort of gradually layering up. I can also see I need to go back in and darken up here with ink. I might have to do this two or three times before I get it. Exactly right. There we go. Back in here. Hi, bud. Hi. <laughs> so notice every time I can just continue to layer that in. I'll send that across so you can see that. And we still have a little over an hour. So you can see that you can, we can start it again. Um, I might want to see how you all handle. I'll send over all of these. Nice, Francesca. So um, there's a kind of medium that comes up the back edge here. Try. Okay. Try uh, elegant, try sort of lightly just for a little bit. And then down here, take your brush and create a more bumpy, textury transition. Between, okay. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so here's where we kind of show feather texture. It mm -hmm. starts with this brushy thing where there's not a strong line here, right? And then, so it's a little bit more wobbly. And then you can go in and emphasize that with a few strokes. Let's see if I can do this here, right? Like, uh -huh. run. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing all the texture. I'm just doing the texture where we're kind of light meets dark. And then here, particularly, this is a tricky area because if you want it to be subtle, right? So see how I'm kind of adding in a little bit more texture here. Hello, mister. Do you want to go back out again? Hmm? Yes, it's done, Olga. Now try again. Or try one of these others. Okay, sure. Oh, let me send over. You want to do that hawk, baby? It is all yours. <laughs> well, I love the little heart on the breast. Juan, he's a hard one. It's hard, but I think it's worth trying. Yeah, here's that one. You can try, so you can do yep. that again. You can try, um, let's see, sorry. Yeah, I think I will try this one. Yeah, well, it's what drew you. You've been attracted to it. And so I think that's a good one to think about. There's the owl. And then I'm going to throw out one more recommendation that just came in this morning. I'm going to suggest you try Jackie's cat. <laughs> mm. There's lots of grays. There go. Lots of grays and darks there. That could be really fun. Um, hold on, there's one more. I got the owl. I 
right. Hang on just a second. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that a lot, Sandra. That really finished it. Nice. Okay. I'm going to leave it alone now. Yep, yep. Maybe do the owl. Yeah, and if you, do you want, um, if you give me like five minutes, I'll start the owl. Oh, okay. Or you can do it, your, try it yourself. I'm going to. And everyone is so good. Yeah, they did good, right? Yeah. Good. Because we spent time thinking, what's the best source? Do you have the color picture of the owl here, please? I do. Let me get that. Okay. Hold on. I do. Where is it? Patina, lovely. Very nice. I like it too. <laughs> that's good. See, that's the great sign. There we go. Actually, I wonder, I might have that better. Hold on. So now, like, make a decision. You want to try it again? Oh, thanks, Leah. Totally respectable. Hold on. I think, Sandra, I might have the color version in my... It looks weird, though. Well, it's just because I took a picture of it. Uh, because you didn't take oh. the... Right, 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 right. The light looks strange. Let me see if I can get the... Did the I original. The other ones are just right there. Where are they? They're in my computer. Um, I can take it over here and try a better shot. Let's try this. Mm, did you get it out from Unsplash? Uh, yeah, I did. Let me see if I can Just find it. Just searching birds. Uh, this should be better, though. There. A little, it's still kind of dull, though. You have a light, is he kind of hitting it the wrong way? Yeah. Um, Don't worry, I'm looking for... Okay. Um, if you find it faster, that'd be great. I have to go to my computer to do it. Oh. That, that's not true. I could totally just go on to... What is it? That's from my phone. All right, my little stoner. Come here. Yeah, jump down. Um, they're very funny looking. Let me. Oh, uh, you know what? It's good. I'm just going to take it. I found it, Leah, I think. Found it? Can you share it across? Okay. Let me make sure it's the same one. Yes, it is. Great. Oh, it's cute. There we have it on the thread. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Don't eat my paintable way. It's great colors, isn't it? Yeah, very beautiful fall colors. Mm -hmm. And these eyes, it's almost a shame to. Not yeah, well, I pulled these thinking that possibly some might go to watercolor as for the watercolor class. So oh, I have yet to do an owl. I'm satisfied with. I don't know why I love them so much, but I oh, always miss them. It might be a good one to try because uh, because of the dramatic light dark that can get you at least try it as a practice, right? So do it in black and white first. And then maybe just to kind of practice the values and the transitions, you'll see, I think you have to do less detail. Okay. Right? Like the idea is how little detail can get, I get away with and still make this look. And then I think if you try it in black and white, the next step would be to try it in, in color. 
Yes, if I mess it up, I won't bother. So once again, so here, I'll pull this off. If you look closely at his feet, they're really amazing. They're fluffy with these little claws. Yeah, they're very hairy, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Impressive. We have uh, friends who live about 10 miles from us um, up in a forest, and they have two cats. And they said all summer long, these two giant owls were hunting their cats. Oh, wow. Because sometimes you see, yeah. I've seen they, on the internet how oh, some owls play with cats. Oh, no. They were really trying to eat the cat. There was no question. <laughs> they, they were <laughs> and nice they were not friendly. Yes. And so she, they would watch their cats outside when the owls would show up. Um, they'd make a little, like a hunting call. And so my friends could hear it and they'd run outside and like kind of you know, <laughs> but like, absolutely, those owls could have picked up their big cats. They were that. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of, they said it was a little frightening, but also really excite, you know, kind of amazing at the same time, because there is this giant owl, right? Like, <laughs> and how often do you get to see that? Hunting, but right? Hopefully not for your pet. It's but. fascinating. Like as long as you've got, got an eye on things, you know nobody gets hurt, but you get to observe so much nature. Oh, still, it would make me a bit nervous. Occasionally, here there's like a very big birds of prey, uh, and the cats actually uh, know to fear them. She said it was terrifying, but also, and they eventually left. Like they eventually went, I think, to look for better better things easier prey easier prey since they couldn't get to what they wanted but she said for several weeks they definitely they were definitely kind of all over their cats in a not great way there we go all right let's see so my suggestion with this one let me get the i think i've got the outline and you guys don't have to do this. I'm just going to start this. I'm probably not even going to finish this. I just thought it would be helpful for me to demo this starting. All right, so here's the starting. pictures. If you want to try this one, here is the start. And by the way, if you want to try this guy, let's see. Let's just do a couple. Okay, would have made the eyes too large. I figured you can't be too large on an owl, but no, they can't. can't. They can't. They can be too large. Then they they become a caricature, so that's fine. Yeah. I'm right. gonna send it, Julia. I don't know where you can see it because it's so light. I'm giving you guys, by the way. Um, some examples of how you would, if you want to do different birds, here's how you would start. Oh yeah, um, redraw, yeah, redraw those. Take a little bit more time. Sandra, start with the outer shapes of the- I have the outer shapes, I've then moved no, to no, the- No, 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 what the I mean shape. is the outer shape of the head so that the eyes fit within that context, right? <laughs> there oh, Look at that. Start with the outer shapes of the head before you get the eyes. Uh, I have that shape as well. Yeah, let's see. Hold on. 
Yeah, lovely, Osiris, lovely. Try, I would recommend adding a little color in if you could, if whatever, uh, or try something else. Uh, well, so pay attention to this shape versus this shape. Get this X in here first. That's gonna help you get the eyes in the right place. Okay. Everything's super light, so you can totally still work with that edge. And here, I'll uh, get in and do that. I'll show you what I mean. Gosh. <laughs> I feel ya. All right. So when I'm starting here, I'm gonna start here. Let's see. So from here to here. That here to here is my L from Scott, start to finish, right from top to bottom. So once again, I'm kind of defining the owl. I am going to find the halfway point here. Um, yep. One of the things that does happen to you after a while is you get better at evaluating where things are when you get a lot of practice. I'm always like, oh, hey, that is the halfway point. I didn't even have to measure it. I could just kind of eyeball it. So here's my halfway point, right? And then I can see, ah, here we go. This is going to be helpful to you, Sandra. If you look here, you'll see that the halfway point, that if I divide this into quarters, the quarter point of this line is the bottom of the beak. It's sort of the bottom of the face. So I'm counting from the top of E is right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, here's my top here. So- And the bottom is the tail? The bottom the right piece here. Of wood. Where okay. that, that piece of wood where the, the okay. sort of claw stretches over. The bottom piece of wood, yes. Thank you for, here, wait, I'll make sure that's much more clear. So here. Oh, here, 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 and here. So I, I really, if I don't have my measuring points, I feel kind of lost. I don't even know where to start. So I'm marking in my halfway points. You can do this by See how I'm checking to see are they the same size, right? So now when I start my sketch and my oh, oh, somebody is using his hi buddy. Hi. Hey. All right. What you doing? <laughs> you can hurt yourself. Yep, we'll be okay. All right. Um, so I know kind of here is where the bottom of his face is, and like here is kind of where his head. I know the ears don't go wider than that, right? I mean, you in my way. You in my way. I know that the top, the side of the head goes here, and then it kind of comes out. Hey. <laughs> oh boy. Can you go take a hike? Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see how I'm I'm doing this measuring. And this is in the light area. So actually I'm gonna take my blankie and kind of scrape off as much as I can. Oh, you are very annoying right now. Very light. Oh, the pets are annoying, people. And then here, it's kind of foot. Yep. So there's that kind of first side, if I want to check. 
Ha, Francesca, nice. Oh, very nice. I like this decision making. Super. I love the feather, the yeah. feather, the I texture like the, on it's the a very, middle. It's a very graphic way of, um, an illustrative way of working. Right. I don't know. I don't know. I I I also did like um, two gray areas uh, in the background, but I don't know if it's a good idea or not. And, uh, I like that. Uh, yeah. I love that. <laughs> you could extend it over to the bird a little bit in one or two places. Go through the bird, not through it, but right up to the edge. I think uh, that works. Uh, you mean like? Uh, adding a little bit of gray inside the bird or no, the up at the outside edge of the bird. Okay. okay. Yeah. You try it so it doesn't look so right. So in some places that's what's happening. Okay. Yeah. Let me try. Try. There we go. So I already have my kind of, the head is smaller really than it feels like it should be. So I think that's part of the issue, Sanders. You probably made it bigger. It's a tendency mm -hmm. to want to, but really from here to here, it's the same as the width, as the height, that quarter point. So once I have this in, it's easier for me I'm even going to just sketch in. Did yeah. you say the head is as wide as it is long? No. Yes. From here, from here. Well, what I said is this. Uh, including the ears. Which comes up to the top of the head, right? Like, so above the head. But if you go to the top, where the top of the ears is, and you line right. that up, they're the same. Including the ears, the width and the height? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And see, so now I'm laying this down and get this in. So I'm doing my outer lines before I'm trying to sketch my inner lines. And then yes. look. The eyes, don't the eyes are higher than cats, for instance? The eyes are higher. Uh, I just think this particular bird at this angle, maybe, maybe a little bit. I don't know the answer to that. Maybe. And then from here, I can do the eyes. Right. Here, it's easier to kind of get the eyes the right size. I know it feels like they're really small, but that's really how it is with this goofy. No, I've got them the right size now, I think. Right. I, then I had to move them higher. Right. So it's like measuring helps because there's a lot of things where you're like, that can't possibly be true. <laughs> no way is that true and yet somehow it is and I'm also going to check and see like how wide my bird is yep my bird is widest so I made my bird too wide it needs to come in Your head looks very small. I haven't finished yet. Okay. I'm just trying to get in everything in the right places. I'm trying to show you a different way of doing it so you can do your mucking around, right? Right. My head comes out maybe a little bit like this. 
maybe the head comes out a little bit more like this. So once I start to really sketch those in, it's because right now I'm gonna do this so I can get, it's because right now my body's too thick. The body is too thick here. So this is where the end of the body is. Yep. Yep. And this is where I made it way out here. So really, it's because the rest of my body is too big. So I have to shorten all those things, which helps with our proportions. So this is where like the majority. Oops. How, how many heads do you think? I mean, I can just tell you one, two, three, four. Okay. Three, four, eight. Two, one, two, three, four. Right. Three, okay. four to the bottom of a wood. Yeah, to the bottom of the wood. Including the ears. Including the top of the ears. No, um, actually, I just measured. Did I? Okay, the, the skull, just the skull. Or yeah, just the skull. It's it's just a little bit above for the ears. Oh, good. I've got it. I've got it. Then that's yeah. what I have. Right. Right. So you see how how I'm creating. Maybe these need to come down a little bit more. Let's see. One, one, two. I know the halfway point. Yep. One, two, one, two. Yep. So the owl's eyes need to kind of come up half above and half below the halfway point. You're kind of right at the halfway point. So here's where I think they actually are. They peak. Yeah, I think that uh, maybe, wait, one, one, I had them a little too far, a little too close together now. Here, got it. Now I've got it. Is, um... So this is where they are. So I spent a lot, notice how much like kind of fiddling around I did before I really settled on eyes. I think we want to get the eyes in quickly. And that's why people always put them in the wrong place and make them too big. That's really, uh, yep, yep. Yep, yep, that's really where they are. So it's kind of this, it's kind of more of a last thing you do rather than the first thing you do as you're doing your sketch. This is in the sketchy part. These are really great, you guys. Fun. Um, Sandra, you have his eyes going up. They're actually going down. So that's it. I have a right eye. It's too high. It's too, also, it's too high. Also, your ears are way too big. They're massive. Oh. Also, yeah, 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 yeah. That's better.
Oh, nice, Olga. Thank you. <laughs> um, you know, the thing about this bird is it's mostly dark. Yeah, yeah. So it actually kind of works. But I have a problem because I don't know how to make this. Oh, it's light. beautiful. Yeah, you're not supposed to paint the white parts at all. I know, but then you can see them and I was trying to make them. So, so yeah. yeah. That's your left brain being ridiculous. <laughs> that's your left brain telling you something that's nonsense. You can totally see them. So you just have to stop yourself from painting them. Um, I think it, it's just you trying to, it's just you trying to say you can't see them when you actually can. Yeah. Um, what I would say is try the little bird again and try harder. Uh, try the little bird again and try harder. That looks gorgeous. Yeah, it's so loose and nice. Yeah, you got you got this, and I'm not trying to criticize this. I will because because the truth is you, it works for you because it's very dark, so there are no light areas. But I want you to be as you've observed yourself. This is a issue you're having, right? Mm -hmm. With pink. So I want you to try the little bird again and try to preserve the whites. Just don't paint them. Paint around mm -hmm. them. Could it try? because I'm already doing the same that you do. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try it with the, yeah, sure. Try it with that. Try it with that. Absolutely. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> I am... Give me just a second, you guys. Yeah, try it. But really try to protect your whites. Mm -hmm. Make yourself do it, even though it feels like you should. That's kind of this um, issue that all of us have of overpainting something, overdoing it. Although I, I have to say, you really did nail the hawk. So you did but it. I know that I have this problem only with the birds and with feathers because I, I'm doing this all the time. It's like, yeah. 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 This is something. Yes. I think it's because you go fast. You get excited by using the brush and cover everything up. So what this medium is good for showing you is how to maintain values. Yeah. That's true. Right. Like even if you're uh, other other things, it's easier to correct. Right. Acrylic, you can correct. Oil, you can correct. Um digital art you can go back and correct and make lighters so yeah it's just like you this is a good medium for you because it kind of forces you to um to kind of you have to leave it otherwise you lose it right mm -hmm. right that's the interesting that's thing so yeah so interesting isn't it interesting the things that that's why i like to switch you guys around in mediums to see what each medium is kind of good for highlighting and good for not, each one has its own. Oh, hello. Wanna say hi to everybody? Here he is, here he is. Here's my little guy. Let's see. My big guy here, hold on. Oh, hello. Honey. Very nice. Oh. How you've grown. <laughs> he sure has. He's so stoned right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's super cute. He really yeah. is a good boy. He's a good boy. And now he and Luca are sleeping together. Well, not together, but in the same room. It's amazing. They spend a lot That's of time. That's fantastic. Here. 
See, because he settled down a bit, he hasn't got the same energy. Exactly. And she's also just made it so clear that like... Leave me the fuck alone. Boundaries with him. So, and he's kind of respecting them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like it better. Oh, nice, Osiris. Nice, 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 nice. Very nice. Um, I think one, I think you can make the eyes a little closer together. There's basically one eye space between the eye and then one eye space on either side of the eye for this whole width. It's the five eyes across, just like a portraiture. So interesting. Give me just a How did you make the feet, Leah? Um, I haven't done them yet. Hold on. Okay. Give me about five, a couple minutes. I'm just, let's see. You want to go out or you want to stay in? Okay. I'm going to take some more out again for a little while. Oh, it's kind of warmer. Sunny. No. I mean, there's not that much detail in the feet here. Wait, where's my brush? I think the feet are mostly going to be spelled out with uh, the pen. So now I'm just trying to kind of sketch them in. Right up in here. I have to double check and make sure. I had them up too high. There we go. I 
had them up too high. Yeah, I think the feet are mostly going to be spelled out with the, the dark pen. I don't think there's as much you can do with the brush. Yeah. Getting some good work done today, guys. All right, now, I think for me, let's see. We're gonna start with these kind of soft washes, which I can layer dark things over, right? Here's, a kind, here's that kind of medium layer. Um, like Olga's Hawk, right? I know even the lighter areas mostly are kind of dark down here. And that's the same up here. My lighter areas are gonna read more like mediums. So I can kind of darken everything with this medium color. Same up here. Same here. Same down here. And then I'm gonna let that dry and then build up the layers. Doesn't feel like this is there we go. Now I can start to get a little bit darker. Oh. Kind of here. So you can see, can you see how I'm like kind of sketching in the darks? Oh. And these drips. I'm trying to decide if these drips are going to be helpful to me or not. Probably mostly helpful. So I'm going to leave most of them in. See how I'm starting to get kind of more texture and darkness in here. It's kind of darker here. It gets slightly lighter. And now I'm kind of layering in the dark the dark kind of the darkest areas within this medium. I'm not doing every little dark spot, right? Like that, that's not, this is not the time for that. I'm still kind of trying to find my basic layers of dark. This is super dark. 
way darker. See how already I'm starting to get a feeling of owl vibrating just by kind of pushing. The light's a little darker. You may want to add in. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that yet. I've noticed I'm not getting in and adding any of this detail yet. I'm really trying to, before I do any detail, I'm really just trying to kind of lay in the pieces that I need so I can start building more texture with my lines. And now is probably, well, I'm going to let it dry. And in about two minutes, I will go back in and start using my pen. I love the utter focus of this class right now. <laughs> it's fantastic. Let's see. Uh, yeah, proportions are a little off, but um, better preservation of your lights, Olga. So you can do, I, I think the other thing that's happening is you're overdoing this mark making in here. Yeah, you don't do so much, right? And also look that some area and also your mark making is all going down. Mm -hmm. really, his neck is coming out. Yeah. Then sure. are sweeping this way. So when you're adding detail, less is more. And also like this kind of, if you're going to add a mark, look at the direction that it's going. Also, notice that some are kind of lighter. Yeah. Right? Maybe, maybe I'm just so excited about the black ink, so I just want to put it everywhere and as much as possible. Right. Like, that's just, it's, there's also a tendency for us to want to recreate patterns that aren't really there. Yeah. So a pattern here, which isn't actually happening. In reality, yeah. there's like a bit here. And then this bit here, see these help us sort of show, right, the direction. So I'm not doing every one, but I am looking at what's here. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to mimic it when I do add my marks. So I don't need as many marks, but I'm paying more attention. Oh, Bettina, nice. Is this the second one, the bigger one? I almost had the eye right, and it was going to be dark with a white center, and then the ink filled it up. And the ink oh, filled. I had the same problem. It's not bothersome, though. I still like it. Now, here's a cheat if you want to. If you've got any gouache, <laughs> dot in a little gouache, ah. little white gouache where that dot is, and you'll, re you'll get it back. Okay. I don't know what gouache is. <laughs> oh, gouache is paint. Uh, oh, okay. I guess you so don't like even. Right. So maybe you acrylic. do. It's like acrylic is water based. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's fake like, water it's color. Like a half it's fake watercolor. Watercolor and um, it's kind of halfway between watercolor and uh, and uh, and acrylic. Not as it's a little bit more transparent. If you have watercolor, you can also try to. Or if it's acrylic, you can also dab a little acrylic, little white acrylic dot over your ink drawing. Okay. Try um, it. What was I going to ask? Oh, so I think the thing that was notable was how fast I did it and with no grid and just looking. Yep. Yep. And I think you got, and I, I really love the texture that you've got going um, around like where the transitions of the feathers are. I think you got some nice texture there, uh, combining your pen, right, with everything else. Uh, nice, Francesca. All right. Um, so notice, Francesca, that this owl goes lower on the right side. 
right? Then on the left. Okay. Okay. So you need to bring him down. He's about at the widest part. He's about halfway up the owl. That's how. Uh, okay. Oh. So he's a little narrow. So as you're fixing those things. So now I'm starting to go in with a pen. What did I really want to do that? Um, of course, I'm really dying to get into those eyes right now, but I'm not going to quite do that yet. I'm going to start by sketching the kind we can't of. See the, we can't see where you, we can't see the top of the owl here. Or maybe, oh, it's, it's my, it's yeah. my oh, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can. Um, and I am, so I am starting with kind of a sketch of the outside shape of the L. And let me actually double check that. I want that to be this height. So from here to here, it's easy to make my L too big. Here's where my owl ends, which means this comes in. So see how I'm starting to kind of sketch in a little more clearly where all my features are. So before I, I get to any of this other detail, I'm still kind of working the outer shapes of the faces. So when I come in and sketch in my eye, yep. That's really where the eyes are. And then this beak is half dark. And then light. Notice how the um, Pupil is really wide, and it's um, and it's sort of attached to the top of the eye shape. Notice the eye shape is kind of like a little tent on the top, or a little angle. Not bad, Julia, not bad. Nice. Look at how quick and easy it is to kind of lose your lights, right? On the light side, it's a little- Oh, I like August, wow. Yeah, it looks great. In general, super good. Uh, as always, it's easy to kind of overdo this light part. Julia's is great. Yeah. Right. Always the question is how much is Julia, I think you could maybe add a couple of contour lines with your pen around the outside edge of this owl to emphasize him just a little bit more if you wanted to, if you had a little bit of time. Nice, Osiris. Get darker in your dark areas. Get darker in the dark areas. Okay. <laughs> I'm not finished. I was just... yeah, yeah, I know. I know. It looks great. Now you can get in and get those beautiful darks in.
I'm just starting to add in pieces. I may have overpainted this section and not preserved enough lights, but I'll know more when I go back in and darken. guys really great let's go a couple more minutes out beyond class just to see where we can get to if everybody's in the zone and feeling yes. like yes so i have to leave because um i've got to be somewhere yes ma'am we'll see so, you next week and so i we'll have to leave because i have to meet a very important dignitary yes ma'am all right, guys. All right. Great. Thank My you. Grandson. No, but we Your grandson. <laughs> the most important dignitary. The most important dignitary, my grandson. The most important dignitary, absolutely. All right. Great work, everybody. I'm so. No, don't go, Leah. Hmm. I'm just going to say bye. bye. See you. Yeah. Bye, guys. Um, I'm hanging along. I'm hanging around for a little bit longer. Thank don't you. Worry. I have to leave as well, but yeah. It, it was really fun. Great. Okay. <laughs> I can Bye. see the love of ink continuing. The love affair of ink continues. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. I'm going to send you a material. Tell me what you work. Uh, okay. I tried to make it smaller, but. Uh, just a little longer. And nobody, you know, y'all didn't have to do this one. This was kind of a bonus. You could have totally just done the other one over or whatever, what have you. Mm, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's a better attempt. You know, you still made the eyes too big. <laughs> I know, particularly the left one. I want you to observe something, or Sandra, I'd like you to try and fix something. There's two things that are kind of off about this drawing. One is that. You have, you can see here, you have this stick way out here past the bird's body. Oh, but that I can't delete it. The stick is lined up here with the white part. But it doesn't uh, matter about the stick, does it? It does, because it shows, because you're matching other proportions to it. It's it's a it's a having to pay attention to, pro it's just paying attention to proportions. Like I know, but it's not part of a bird. You've made his, um, his- The feet are still underneath the beak. Yeah, it, it, it messes up your foot proportions. Um, but also notice that you kind of lost your contrast. So my suggestion is to go back in and try and darken these areas to lighten this up. I haven't really darkened it that much yet. Yeah, I'm gonna darken it. Yeah, 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 try that. But also notice what extending this, so even though this is not part of it. Wow, nice, Olga. Yeah. <laughs> I still want the second one, the darkest bird. I think it's, it's the best one. I don't know why, but I like when it's better. I think it's the best one too. I think it totally like, I mean, I like them all. They all are great, but I think that one, you play to your strengths, right? You have a quickness of gesture. Uh, the drawing is solid and you didn't have to worry about any lights. So, yeah. right? Like, so it is like paint playing to your, uh, very nicely done. Good job guys. Remember, this is a practice. We'll just keep, we're going to keep going. Just imagine how much better you are now than you were a year ago. Imagine how much better you are now than you were three months ago. I've actually been doing this one in charcoal. Oh, yeah? I can cool. show you. It's not great. We'd love to see it. Great. I, and also a wonderful way. Oh, Cyrus, wonderful. God, these are good. It's been great. You also put a little Osiris up in there. From the standpoint, <laughs> have this sticking out a little bit too much. If you'll notice, the body is kind of hugging closer to the end of this. Yeah. It's just paying yeah. attention to those things, right? I see that. Yeah. 
Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Oh, Sandra, what's it? Wonderful. Sandra, I'll send, I'm gonna send you a note. Okay. Bye. Okay. Cool. Wonderful. Wonderful. So now you can go. You've been doing this in charcoal, so you can go back in and erase out your lights. Yes. More. Yes, I can. Do it. Do it now. Okay. Oh, there you go, Sandra. Yep. Yep. So notice there is like kind of a strong dark medium. There's an even darker medium here edging. Like here's the important, here is the most important section here because it shows the transition between light to medium to dark medium, right? So this area is the most important in terms of edges and shape. Make sure these transitions are correct, right? That we can see them. Okay. This is the focus. Instead of all over, this is the focus. These, where these three shapes meet is the focus because that's where there's that fantastic contrast. Sandra, when you try this in watercolor, I want you to, I'm going to take a picture of this. So you can really see it. Because I think the more we focus, I think your, I think watercolor, it might be easier not to have to feel like you have to draw every feather. You know what I mean? Oh. Like. That's the part I like. The way, yes, it's, I can see, this is still kind of a struggle for you. That's all right. You're get. you're finding your way in that. I mean, I like to kind of play with texture. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've, I've improved the medium, the medium. I'm kind of going in darker here. I'm actually gonna go in super dark. Let's see. I want this to read as darker next to my light. See what happens when I darken this area? I know it feels a little crazy dark, but it's going to lighten as it dries. Which helps to tell the. I can go in with super dark here. See that? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it as you're saying it here. Yeah. And it works really well because also you can see the feet better. Right. So these are the areas as we're starting to go. And then we can tighten things up as we go forward. Yeah. So I, I, the last thing I really touch is that light area. I really want to work around it um, to get the level of, I'm kind of scooping up just a tiny bit. See, like with my, I'm just sort of tapping the edge so that I'm really paying attention to that transition. And then I'm coming up here and kind of darkening around the claws, the hand, whatever. Mm -hmm. 
I also see that there's a nice transition happening kind of under the neck and where this dark part of the feathers comes out. So I'm, I'm, I'm pushing that. So this is where the kind of detail, my focus on detail goes. Just a second. Hmm. Over three. How nice that we still going. <laughs> anything. Oh. I got phone calls. I got distracted. Oh yeah, we're still going a little bit longer. Good. Good. Night, yeah. Good. Really good. <laughs> because I have plenty to do. <laughs> right. Yeah. I and could go. Yeah. I could go a lot later so if anyone wants to join me after we close oh great idea diana can you throw your zoom link uh, sandra can you throw this out oh, right. do you have uh diana's zoom i'm not going to be able to join you because i have to go to a supermarket which is a pain but yes i can thank you i'm happy to stay for a little bit today I'm going to have to go soon, too, but I think what I'm going to do is just leave it on and do the other things I need. Oh, if you leave it on, then we're all good. All right. I'm just going to leave it on. Uh, okay. Can I, I send you where I'm at? Yeah, I think.